What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. All right, what's up, Aten? It's your boy BG, and uh, well. Today we're doing something a little different. This actually took quite a while to put together, but we're gonna do the uh, the ten best solo songs ever from SB19 in order, ten to one. And this list was very very difficult to put together. Uh, just for for reference, a couple things were not considered. Uh, Rad Kids does not count as that's Pablo and Hasue. That's technically not a solo. Uh, material so there is no rad kids involved just before we start this but uh we start with number 10 and number 10 for me comes from philippe but it is uh it is the song kanako but it is the band version of kanako the music video um the one where he has uh his unique mic stand that i believe his fans gave to him i always love that song but the band version just kind of gives it like a new life with all the instruments and everything going on in it and uh it's it this one was hard because i do i do factor in like individual performances uh like the superior sessions and stuff like that but uh the kanako band version is going to start us off right there at number 10 coming from philippe uh number nine is going to be coming from stell and it's going to be room off the uh the room ep the first single room which is kind of like our first full real Stell solo single. And I was so excited when that came out. And that, that EP is fantastic. We'll see if anything else made it. But um, that song, when I first heard it, I was like, it has a Bruno Mars-esque Michael Jackson kind of sizzle on it. Uh, and it just kind of captures Stell's positivity and, and fun vibes. So that's why I put... Uh, room at number nine. Number eight is going to be coming from Justin. Uh, it's uh, Kai Kai Bigon, I think is how you pronounce it, which is, um, for me, that song is really, really good, but it, it's if you pair it with the music video, it kind of takes it to a whole nother level. It's such a incredible music video as far as a roller coaster of, of love and let down and and heartache all, all captured in one like seven minute long music video and it's just absolutely superb so i got justin at uh at number did i say seven i meant eight at number eight right there so philippe is at 10 stell's at nine justin's at number eight and then we go to uh josh number seven is gonna be wild tonight wild tonight was for a long time my favorite solo song from any of the fellows in SB19. It slightly reminds me of like an old flow rider beat as far as when the beat kicks in on the hook. Uh, it, it has just like instant club kind of dance feel to it. Plus, I, I love the fact that um, it has a lot of vampires going on in the music video. Uh, so that one, that one's awesome. And uh, I've, I've talked about this before that whenever I shoot something for Josh always has been this way. His videos are harder to get by as far as the YouTube algorithm. We always have to block them. So uh, they take a little bit longer to work on, but you get to appreciate them a little bit more. And uh, Wild Tonight, it was always just an insane, fun dance music video. Uh, so then that takes us to number six. And believe it or not, we're actually going back to Philippe for Drink Smoke. But this is the Superior Sessions version of Drink Smoke. And that song just has, it was kind of like the start for me of philippe's dark like hip-hop edge side and i always love that he kind of brings that to the table as far as like the the true darker hip-hop elements and uh that version of that song is just he's just pouring it all out there on the microphone and uh i don't know i just always thought that particular version and performance was superb so that's what i got for our uh first six right there leading us to the top five <laughs> Now, this is actually a newer one that I just recently discovered, coming from Pablo. This is uh, Presion. Presion, which is off the uh, Alone album. I believe it is track two off the Alone album. Even though I mentioned earlier, Rad Kid songs don't count. This is technically a Pablo solo song. I understand Hasue did production. I understand. But uh, this one in particular, or, or he's featured on it, that's okay. It's a solo album song that counts. 
Um, and then this song just has such an infectious beat, such a just emotional track. And then when, when they start rapping, they start rapping so fast. I love it. It just grabs your attention. So that is my uh, my number five right there. Now, number four is debatable if this is allowed or not. So I have two songs for number four, which I know is a, you know, what? a little bit, a little bit. I don't know if it's allowed, but number four, I originally have Stell, but it's a cover of All By Myself. Uh, and if that's not allowed, then we go to Pablo's Edsa. But if it is allowed, I think it should be considered Stell solo performance of All By Myself, um, which I, for I always forget who the original vocalist is, but made more famous by Celine Neon. And he just, when he did that David Foster performance, it just it gives you goosebumps, man. The way he can hit, he hits that crazy hard note at the end right there. Uh, so, but if that's not considered and you don't allow that because it's a cover song, I understand, then it would be Pablo's Edsa. So the, uh, and, and that song is just, we, we keep riding, um, but it has to be the Wish Bus performance. The Wish Bus performance of it, I thought was uh, absolutely just out of this world. You could just tell how happy and and joyful he was doing that performance. Uh, he always is, but that particular one, I just thought I, I definitely gave it a ten. But I just thought it was uh, just such an energetic, happy vibe, and and you could just tell he was so excited to to finally let everyone hear that song. So that is number four for me. Going back to Stell for number three, we have Classic Stell. Classic is is my favorite song on the room ep it's totally like a modern r&b dancey vibe which kind of like his whole ep is but that particular one like uh i don't know it's it's just it's my kind of vibe and and i just love that baby you're a classic i don't know just gets you it's just snapping in the foot tapping a little bit uh so still classic is my number three we make it to the final two Oh, man. Final two. Now, this is just my opinion. You guys will completely dis disagree on what your opinion is on, on your top 10 favorite SB19 solo songs. Do me a favor. Attempt to put this together in the comments and try and go in order from 10 to 1. It's really, really difficult. But number two is going to be Philippe's Fake Faces. When I first saw this music video, I was like, man, this song not only is amazing, but it has, I think, breakthrough radio appeal as far as uh, breaking through on American radio. It reminds me of something that like Youngblood or MGK would kind of do uh, in that style. But Philippe just made it his own and it has such cool rockin' edge to it. Uh, I, I think it's super catchy. One of my favorites they've ever done. Fake Faces from Philippe is number two. And number one is going to be coming from Pablo. And it's the only 11 I've ever given out yeah! to any other solo stuff it's coming from pablo it's the boy who cried wolf my absolute favorite solo song from sb19 uh i i've jammed it a hundred times since it, since it came out and it didn't even come out but like two or three weeks ago but it is so good the way that pablo just pours his emotion into that hook and and sings it and he has that like raspiness in it you could feel that he's hurt he's in pain and it just captured so perfectly uh, it's it's my it's my absolute favorite solo record. I know you guys will disagree. Again, please let me know uh, if you um, if I miss something. What would you put in your top ten? What would the order be? Please let me know. Hopefully, uh, if you have never seen this channel before, you consider clicking the subscribe button to my channel. Again, we've got uh, uh, over two hundred and sixty reactions for SV19, including their solo material. So you're in the right place. So please consider clicking the subscribe button. Uh, if you if you make uh, if you make music and you need merch for your shows here in the states, go to mymerchguy.com. Use code LBS420. Uh, if you'd like to engage with your fans in a new way, go to bandruption.com. And if you need MIDI drum tracks for your recording session or DAW system, go to drummidi.com. Also use code LBS420. Just make sure it's all in caps so you get the 20% off at checkout. Other than that, though, guys, uh, I am your host BG saying cheers. Keep blazing in peace. I'll see you next time.